Good morning, welcome to the channel. We're back with another episode. If you'll remember previously in this series, which was almost six months ago now, we were converting this basement into a workable um, space. The owner's opening up her own osteopathic treatment center. So the goal with that was to create a soundproof workspace because they do live above in the house above in the main area of half of this basement if you'll remember we split one giant room into two rooms so that's two usable workspaces as well as converting the laundry room into another work area which is where she's treating out of currently so that was on this side of the basement on the other side of the basement we tore out a bunch of odd construction there was a false floor there was a few random walls there's a quite a messy ceiling with a drop ceiling so we tore that all out, cleaned it all up, divided that main room into two rooms again, having the one end a possible future guest room, and then converting the other half into a staff break area, staff lounge. We'll jump into here now and see how far they've come. So as you can see, they added this bank of cabinetry. They pulled this out of the old original laundry room, so they repurposed it, used it here, which works pretty good. They added a sink in the far corner there so the staff members can wash their hands or do any cleaning that they need to do. And in that far bank with that raised countertop, they added a toaster oven, microwave, there's a mirror over there as well. And right over here, you'll remember we added some hookups for a washer dryer so they can do their bedding and their sheets and everything in between clients as well. It turned out pretty good. We uh, painted the duct work here to make it blend in, to raise the height of the ceiling a little bit so it was less uh, basement feeling. It turned out really well, your eye doesn't really catch at all. They painted it a white flat, just like the ceiling. And then over here, they got a table. They got a place to hang coats or sweaters or anything in the winter, some storage there for laundry stuff, as well as some extra shelving over here for more linens and some books. They might redo some of this by adding a reception table here. As of now, they don't have any extra tenants or staff renting out those two separate rooms, so it is just the homeowner using the space right now. I'm sure once they get a few more people to use those rooms, they might rearrange just a little bit to make it a little more accommodating. But So when we added this wall here, we did double pocket doors, and that will just enable them to open up the space completely, make it look a little bigger, possibly add a bigger table and more chairs down the road, but they also have the option of closing it off, making it into a separate room, having a guest room, or just a cooler place for storage or whatever. So that's pretty much the space there. It turned out really well. For a basement that doesn't have any windows, it is bright with the pot lights, the white ceiling, the light walls, with the added warmth of the wooden floor, linoleum wooden floor, the wooden table, the wooden shelving. It does provide a little more warmth too, so it's not as cold as most basements feel. That's gonna do it for this video, for this update, and for this job. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.